finding the duration. In this nugget, we are learning to find and compare durations of events. The key words are duration, which means the time something takes, minute and hour. Here's a practice question we can go through together. Swimming club started at 3.15. It went on till 5.15. What was the duration of the swimming club? We can make a number line to show the start time and the end time. It started at 3.15 and it ended at 5.15. We then need to count on in hours to find the duration. So we count on one hour to 4.15 and another hour to 5.15. We can then count these hours one, two. And then we know the duration. The duration of the swimming club was two hours. Now it's your turn. Keon started his run at 3.05 p.m. He finished his run at 6.05 p.m. How long was his run? Remember, you can use a number line to help you. Pause the video if you need time to think. We'll start our number line with the start time 3.05 and the end time 6.05. We count on one hour to 4.05, one hour to 5.05 and one last hour to our end time 6.05. So we know the duration of his run was three hours. Here's another practice question for us to do together. James finished shopping at 1.30pm. He started shopping at 11am. How long was he shopping for? This time on our number line, we're going to have to count in minutes and hours. We start with the start time, which is 11 o'clock, and the end time, which is 1.30 or half past one. We count on one hour to 12 o'clock, another hour to one o'clock, and then 30 minutes to 1.30. Remember, 30 minutes is half an hour. The duration of his shopping trip was two hours and a half, or two hours and 30 minutes. Now it's your turn. The maths lesson started at 9.50. It ended at 11.10. What was the duration of the maths lesson? Pause the video if you need time to think. So we create another number line which starts at 9.50 and ends at 11.10. We count on 10 minutes to the nearest hour, 10 o'clock, an hour to 11 o'clock and then another 10 minutes to 11.10. This was the simplest way to count it out on our number line. We can add one hour and two lots of 10 minutes together. That makes one hour and 20 minutes. The duration of the maths lesson was 1 hour and 20 minutes. Here's another question. Bella started flying to Paris at 10am. She landed at 12.32pm. What was the duration of her flight? Let's create another number line. It starts at 10 o'clock and ends at 12.32. We count 1 hour to 11 o'clock, another hour to 12 o'clock, and then we need to count in minutes to reach 12.32. 10, 20, 30, and then two more minutes. In total, we counted 32 minutes. We need to add this to number of hours, so it's two hours and 32 minutes. The duration of Bella's flight was two hours and 32 minutes long. Now it's your turn. Lizzie's train was at 6.45. She got to her destination at 8.55. How long was her train journey? Pause the video if you need time to think. Again, we need a number line to help us. We start our number line at 6.45 the start time and end it at 8.55 the end time. We count one hour to 7.45 and then another hour to 8.45 and then just another 10 minutes to reach the end time, 8.55. We know her train journey was two hours and 10 minutes long. Now we're going to compare duration. Edgar put the first batch of cupcakes in the oven at 7.15. He took them out at 7.50. He baked them for five minutes to 7.20, then another 10 minutes to 7.30, then another 10 minutes to 7.40, and then another 10 minutes to 7.50. We can count this up to know that batch one finished baking in 35 minutes. 
The second batch went in at 7.50 and he took them out at 8.20. So we start our number line at 7.50 and end it at 8.20. Batch 2 finished baking in 30 minutes. We know that the first batch took longer to bake than the second batch. Remember, duration means the time that something takes. You can create your own number line from the start time to the end time to find the duration. For example, this timeline represents the duration 2 hours and 32 minutes. Duration can be compared to see which event is longer or shorter.